Hello guys and welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video we're gonna talk about the error 0x800-7002 in Windows 10. This is an error that can come up when you're trying to use a specific app or maybe when you're having some issues with the Windows updates. Anyways, this is a very annoying error. So in this video I'm gonna show you a few solutions that will possibly and hopefully help you solve the problem. first thing that you should try is to perform a clean boot. What this means, this means Windows will boot up using only the Windows official services and not any other third party apps. So that's very important to see and maybe like that you can find out what app causes the error. So to do that you're gonna have to open the run command. Just hold Windows plus R keys in your keyboard at the same time and in the run command you're gonna have to type in msconfig then press enter and the msconfig window will pop up. Here in the msconfig window you're gonna have to go to services and click on hide all Microsoft services. You're gonna have to then click on disable all and then click on apply and ok. And also in the general tab you're gonna have to uncheck load startup items and then again apply and ok. So as I've said Windows will perform a clean boot and you're gonna have to see if the error still occurs. You can also temporarily disable your antivirus security software. Just try to to use the official Windows antivirus which is Windows Defender and see if that solves the problem. In case you are using any proxy connections you should disable them because that could be another thing that could cause the error. Just launch the Internet Explorer click on the search box and then type in there internet and open up internet explorer and in this new internet explorer window you're gonna have to click on this icon which is tools and then go to internet options here you're gonna have to go in the connections tab and then click on LAN settings and you're gonna have to make sure that use a proxy server for your LAN is unchecked as it is in my case if none of these solutions solves the problem you have to try the SFC scanner the system file checker because maybe Maybe the problem is uh, caused by a corrupt important Windows file or maybe by an important DLL. Just click on the search box and then type in here CMD, right click on command prompt and run as administrator. In the command prompt you're gonna have to type in SFC space slash scan now and then press enter and the scan will start and as I've said it will scan the important system files and will try to fix them if there are any problems. So guys, I'm hoping that after you watch this video, you manage to solve the problem and you're not getting that annoying error anymore. So this was the video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your Windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video. Until next time, have a nice day.